2024 Bassmaster Classic, it wouldn't be a classic without something new from the Daiwa folks, and they have exceeded expectations, very high expectations this time with a very special rod. I'm here with Chris Martin in the booth. Chris, what do you have to show us today? So we have to show you and your audience the epitome, the peak of Daiwa's rod technology, and that is the Steez Real Control. So these are a rod introduced with our, uh, one of our lead anglers in the, ser the Bassmaster series, Koya Fujita. These are the rods that he uses almost exclusively while fishing these events. I mean, Pete, just go ahead and feel how oh, light wow. <laughs> that rod is. It, I'm not gonna say it feels like it's gonna float away, but it's gonna feel like it's yeah, gonna float away. It, it's, it's like picking up a feather. Uh, these rods, like I said, are, are, are the, the peak of the technology that Daiwa can produce in a U.S. bass fishing market. What we're looking at is the, one of the highest end graphite blanks. This is called a Compile X Nano Plus. So that means it is a next grade of graphite, even above traditional steez. So we're talking an even tighter compression of those graphite fibers, less resin between them. So you get a very, very sensitive, very lightweight rod. Now, a couple of other technologies built into this, you'll notice if we come in tight here, you can see the guide wraps themselves are also a carbon fiber guide wrap. No thread and again, no extra resin where it would normally add weight. Instead of that, we're using that graphite to put those guides onto the rod. Now, the guides themselves are also gonna be that second generation AGS graphite guide. What I love most about these guides is that they do not produce a dampening effect on the energy transfer from the tip of the rod all the way to the handle. So extremely sensitive, but still more durable than the first generation of those AGS guides. Coming down to the handle here, Koya put on this rod what's called a zero seat, an extremely lightweight, very comfortable grip on these, again, to further enhance that energy transfer, that sensitivity from the tip of the rod all the way down to the handle where you're actually feeling that bite connect. Beautiful reel, uh, reel clamp as well on there. And one more thing that we should also take a look at in this lineup, again, there, uh, sh should mention there are three spinning rods and one bait casting rod in this lineup. One of the other awesome features on this power spin model, along with it being that Compile X Nano Plus Graphite, this rod features what we call a 3DX wrap. So if you can come in tight there, you'll see that it's not a traditional orientation of the graphite fibers. It's more of a honeycomb style wrap. And what that does is it adds further uh, integrity to the actual rod. Again, this is the power spin model. So you're, this is a rod that you can expect to get a little bit more backbone, a little bit more pulling power. In order to achieve that, we have to get that weave in a little bit different of an orientation. And continues up to about the midpoint of the rod where that backbone really sticks in. And then you get that traditional nano plus graphite going all the way to the tip to get that maximum sensitivity out of it. So some incredible technology going into these rods. You obviously have a premier pro staff to start with, but what does Koya bring to the table that's different? What, what is his sort of, obviously this rod has his stamp all over it. Right. Why is he sort of the touchstone for your next step? Yeah, I mean, what Koya represents to Daiwa is that next generation of anglers. Those anglers that are really going to take advantage of the technology available to them. Not only in the rods and reels that they're fishing, but that forward-facing sonar. These rods are really forward-facing sonar focused for that maximum sensitivity, that ability to control those baits really well, position them right into a bass's face. And Koya represents that for us. Again, that, that next generation of angler that is really taking all of the opportunities and the technology that they can to make them a better angler. What's the reel that goes with these spinning rods? Because obviously you're not going to clamp your bargain basement $29.99 reel on this. You need something yes. that balances properly and lives up to this opportunity. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Koya is definitely going to be using something in the exist line. Um, for the power spin model, probably an exist 3000 size. For the smaller models, maybe going down to a 2000 size. 
exist model. Um, they're going to be a great match as far as the weight balance goes with these rods. A phenomenal, phenomenal uh, combo between the exist and the Steve's real control. Now, for the bait casting model, of course, it's going to be a Steve's as well. Uh, I would likely recommend the Steez SV, the newest model that we've come out with. We can get into some details on that killer reel in a little while. But yeah, Steez SV and Exist. I understand these are a limited opportunity to buy, maybe <laughs> only at the Bassmaster Classic. How yeah. many of these have you made? And if someone can't get a hold of these, what would you recommend as sort of the next step as a premium model? Sure. So yeah, I mean, like, like you said, very, very limited quantity, right around 15 pieces made it, made their way into the country and they are here at the Bassmaster Classic. So if you want to get a shot at getting one while they're in stock here, this is the opportunity to get them. Now they do come at a higher price point, just under $1,300. So you are paying for a premium product, but again, very, very limited supply. Um, the other question was again, sorry? Well, what's sort of your next step? Not next down, step. Yes. I hate to call yeah. a yeah. seven or $800 rod a step down, but if you can't get a hold of these and you're the premium yeah. buyer, what do you want to get? If you can't get the opportunity to come here and get one of these while they're still in the country uh, or still available, the next step would be, go, would be to go over to a traditional Steez AGS. And really there's nothing much traditional about it. It's the next high end rod uh, just beneath the Steez reel control, but still top of the line. Uh, SVF graphite on these rods, not the Compile X, but still a very, very lightweight graphite rod. I mean, you can feel that. Oh, wow. Same type of AGS guides, that second generation AGS guide to further enhance that durability on the carbon fiber. Uh, but also, again, preventing that dampening effect, more sensitivity. So Steez, definitely a good option if you can't find the real control models. Daiwa continues to bring the heat. We're here at the Bassmaster Classic. I hope if you wanted to get one of these rods, you didn't miss out on it. Stay tuned. They're going to have more premium products coming up. And Chris Martin is always a good friend of Half Pass First Cast. Thank you.